So one of the questions I get most often is uh, pen kits and casting. Which, how do you pick and what do you like uh, as far as to use for casting? And one of my favorites is the Aero Pen Kit. And I'm going to do a quick little review and show you a couple of things on why it makes a good casting pen. So this is an Aero Pen Kit and what you uh, see here is it's very simple. It's kind of a sleek uh, elegant design and one of my favorite features on this is it actually twists from the back so the ink is deployed with the transmission in the rear tip this arrow pen actually looks a lot like what's known as the Sierra or the Wall Street uh, there's a bunch of different sizes and versions that everybody sells uh, you can see it's a little bit smaller uh, the center section is a little bit smaller I'm just trying to compare the the mid piece here you can see it's about a quarter of an inch shorter um, but to me it actually looks better it seems like it's a better quality better materials than most of the the cheaper Sierras whatever you want to call them out there the arrow is available in a variety of platings uh, this happens to be a chrome and black titanium there's a titanium gold uh, you can get it with the titanium gold accents on it uh, there's a rose gold, which has a really nice rose gold tip, and I believe there are some higher ends that just came out uh, as far as higher end platings go. Now one of the reasons I like the Aero, besides its simplicity and its look, is the castability of the Aero. Uh, looking at the bushing here, when I put a tube on it, you can see, I'm going to get close here see what I can do, you can see how much space there is there. I call it how much meat is left on the tube uh, and what that does when you're casting something especially tube on casting is it gives you more room to work with uh, I've had some other pens where I've gone to a lot of work done some expensive work on them and then uh, it's just such a thin body and a thin profile that you have to cut down to, to to match up to the bushings and the fittings that you cut through that stuff so the arrow is really nice because of that thickness and what that will allow you to do is cast larger objects or more objects, uh, stuff you might not be able to do tube on casting for in other pen kits. So one of my favorite castings with the Arrow, the watch parts or steampunk. Uh, you can do a variety of setups, you can do a lot of different parts in it, and it just has a great look to it. I don't know how I can hold this up here to show you, but that's, you can see, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, but there's still some thickness between the parts and the edge here. And I've got this fairly straight cut, uh, just a little bit of a bump here at the end for the look. But a great kit for casting parts. Another thing I cast with the Aero, uh, I just got some of this new material, new to me, uh, fiber material, and then I've actually cast some filigree parts on there. I, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see it, but. Uh, some filigree jewelry parts and all I do is curve them to the pen tube size and then attach them to the the material and the arrow with all that extra meat will allow for that to be cut down and still look good you don't have to do casting with it uh, to make a great looking pen here's just a true stone uh, came out really nice the design and the shape of this pen just make it really really good looking so that's just a quick little review on the Aero and why I use it a lot. Uh, great for casting, great looking pen for just straight wood, true stone, acrylic, anything you want to do. Uh, I've not had very many, if any, problems with the kit as far as the functionality, uh, the durability of the finishes have seemed really good, and most importantly, customers really like them. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them.